Section 3.11 of the EIR addresses noise and vibration impacts. Specifically, this video addresses construction hours. The Redondo Beach Municipal Code and the Torrance Municipal Code provide standard construction hours during which time heavy construction equipment can be used. However, neither municipal code places a quantitative limit on the noise that can be produced by such construction equipment. Additionally, CEQA documentation prepared by the City of Redondo Beach and the City of Torrance use a variety of different thresholds to analyze the physical impacts associated with noise. In an effort to standardize and select a conservative threshold to evaluate the physical environmental impacts associated with construction noise, the EIR uses the Federal Transit Authority Residential Construction Noise Impact Criteria, an eight hour noise equivalent level of 80 decibels. Woods team collected noise monitoring data from a variety of locations surrounding the project site to establish an ambient noise level. Woods team also worked with CBRE, a construction management company, to develop a detailed construction schedule. Wood calculated offsite impacts at the near sensitive receptors as close as 80 feet from the construction equipment. Wood also modeled construction roadway traffic noise associated with heavy haul truck trips. The EIR determined that noise would exceed the Federal Transit Authority threshold resulting in significant physical environmental impacts. The environmental impact report requires a construction noise management plan that would involve the use of noise barriers, equipment maintenance, and would provide requirements for public noticing. However, given the height of development under phase one and phase two, it would be infeasible to construct a noise barrier that would break the line of sight between the sensitive receptors and the construction activity. Therefore, even with the use of noise barriers, construction noise at the project site would remain significant and unavoidable. <laughs>